While many of us take the internet for granted, large part of the world is still unconnected. Project Loon is an ingenious Google initiative to provide wireless network to remote areas where cost and infrastructure challenges are an issue for the existing internet technology. Google wants to provide internet to 4.5 billion people that are currently offline. This technology involves the use of specially designed helium balloons launched in the sky, which work in coordination with each other using complex algorithms. Their goal? To provide a cost-effective, reliable and environmentally friendly way to bring the internet from the sky to places lacking it. Our paper provides a thorough description of this Google project using a variety of data visualization methods to help the reader better understand the data exposed in the article. To represent the discrepancy between the online population in various parts of the world, the authors opted for using a line chart representing the percentage of the population online over the years. The plot is all thought of and in a basic way clearly shows the gap in internet connectivity between developing and developed countries. An alternative would have been this interactive world map that allows the user to explore the use of the internet across individual countries in a clear and well-structured manner. In order to represent the demographic information concerning the online and offline populations, the authors choose to use this table in the paper. However, a table makes it harder and less intuitive to comprehend the data. This same information could more easily be depicted as a double bar plot, which would make the discrepancy of the data between offline and online populations immediately obvious. To reflect the worldwide internet penetration, the paper makes use of a bar chart where each column has a legend and it's represented by a different color. Additionally, the world total is represented as a single number without a visual equivalent. All this becomes very distracting for the user. Although this visualization provides the necessary information, a few aspects can be improved. A better solution would be this simple bar chart that compares all countries and the world total in an orderly manner allowing a simple and intuitive comparison of the internet penetration worldwide. The bar glyphs express the quantitative value attribute aligned in the vertical position and the key attribute in the horizontal position, making it easy to look up and compare values between countries and the world total that presents a distinctive color. Comparison between Project Loon and the other methods in terms of cost, speed, and users is made through a table. As the information is exclusively quantitative, three-dimensional, and rather simple to read, we believe that the table representation in this specific case is effective. As we can observe here, a three-dimensional representation of the table values would not be effective in terms of understanding the data, as the three-dimensionality makes it quite difficult to read the figure. And with this, we terminate our presentation. Thank you for watching.